Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, and we are starting with William Bonek, who posted a new physique update a couple of days after the Emperor Cup Spain, but it's more interesting what he has to say in this post. So he says, we are three weeks out of the Mr. Big Evolution in Portugal, so obviously William Bonek is not shutting it for the year. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia, but he wants to continue competing, and I think that's a great decision. It's awesome for him and his career at this point. I think this comeback is gonna look much more, much better if he wins multiple shows and then goes to the Mr. Olympia. So he's gonna do a Portugal in three weeks from now, and Michael Grigio, in his most recent update where he spoke about what went wrong and so on in Slovakia, he also said that he's not going to be competing at Portugal because even though it was a plan originally, he decided not to do it because he's facing a couple of issues, mainly his shoulder is injured, so he's not really able to train the best of his abilities and that's why he said he's skipping it, but here in this post... William Bonac says that Krizio will be there as well. And if you read the comments, you're gonna see Krizio's comment as well. He just posted a fire emoji, which doesn't mean that he's in and it doesn't mean that he's out necessarily. I don't know if he even read what Bonac said or he read it, but he just left an emoji because Bonac is probably not up to date. You know, he probably knows that, that was the plan of Krizio before, and apparently he didn't watch my video, because where else would you find out that Krizio is out? He spoke in Slovakian only, so I guess Bonak doesn't know that Krizio is out, and Krizio didn't wanna say it. But there is a slight possibility that Krizio actually changed his mind, and that he's gonna push through and actually do that show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Apparently there is a rumor that Krizio might do Dubai Pro, but after announcing that he's out of Portugal, I don't know if he's gonna do... Dubai, if he doesn't do Portugal, but we'll see. Also, it's interesting that Bonac here addresses the, the haters, the people who are saying that uh, Behrus Tabani was robbed at this show, and they only gave it to Bonac because Behrus doesn't have the visa to travel and compete in the USA. I don't know how true is that, how much Mr. Olympia and IFBB are actually involved in these kind of decisions, you know, with the judges and everything. I don't know, it does kind of make sense, but I mean, I'm not sure about that. Anyways, even though I thought Beckers deserved to win, I can also see why Bonek won. I don't have an issue with that. And here Bonek says, for those who disagree with the judging of my win last weekend, let's stop complaining and run it back in three weeks time. Problem solved. So Krizo, as he says, is gonna be there, but probably not. Is Beckers Tabani gonna be there? I don't know, but he's gonna be next week in Italy at the Flex Pro. So this show is gonna be very, very interesting because we have Bakrus Tabani and Nathan Diasha. None of these guys are probably gonna be able to travel to the US. So who are they gonna give it to? It's gonna be whoever deserves it. I'm just joking, but really it's gonna be a tough, tough battle because both of these guys are probably like on a similar level right now. Nathan Diasha and Bakrus Tabani. And then also we have Emi Romeragic and Christian Wolski fighting for that third, most likely. Who do I have winning this show, Backers or Nathan? I mean, I don't know, man, I really don't know. If I had to choose one, I would probably go with Backers, mainly because I saw him recently, and I don't really know what to expect from Nathan, and what Backers brought to the stage last weekend was phenomenal, in my opinion, as you guys know, deserving of the win. The improvements that he made in one year, especially in the lag size, the photo on the left is obviously from last year, and the photo on the right is from right now. And also the condition that he's always able to bring, I mean, with his structure, with his frame, with his shape and symmetry, and that you know, classic aesthetic, sort of almost 90s type of look. I mean, it's gonna be very difficult for Nathan to beat him, because Nathan, he's not exactly blessed in the structure department. Which is arguably the strongest point of Bakrus Tabani. I mean, also the crazy conditioning and details and that hard, rock-hard look, super thin skin that only Iranians are able to bring. And Nathan Diash, on the other hand, I mean, here is his most recent physique update. It's from a reel, it's in the end of the reel, so it's not exactly the highest quality, but you can get the idea. I mean, this is like usual Nathan Diasha. I mean, the length of the torso almost looks photoshopped, but it's real, and it only looks like this in, 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 in the front poses, not even all of them, but in, in, in the front double, in the front lat. 
So, I mean, that's gonna hurt him a little, but overall, Nathan is very good. This is from last year, I'm not even sure if he won this show or lost to Regan, I felt very confidently that he was robbed, I was sure that he was better than Regan at both of those shows that he did last year, Italy and Spain, and I guess the only argument that you can potentially make about Regan beating him was maybe, maybe the structure, you know, that thing with the length of the torso compared to the legs. That's like the only flaw that you could find, if that hurt him that much, I mean, let's not even begin about this again. I was really sure that, that Nathan won that both of the shows, and as you can see here, he looked amazing, he looked great, he was full, he was conditioned, and guess who is his coach? Stefan Kinzel. And they already worked last year, for the last off season, for the last season, actually, competitive season. So Stefan knows his body. And they also did the off season before that contest and before this one. So I think I think Nathan is gonna nail it as well. And potentially, I think he will be improved. So it's gonna be a crazy battle. I'm not sure who's gonna win. Maybe Nathan posts something new and then I can make a decision, but right now, I mean, I have no idea. I would bet on Becker's because I prefer his physique. I think it's an amazing physique, but I also like Nathan Diasha a lot. I know how good he can be. So you guys tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Now, as far as the Portugal Pro, we're gonna get to see a new Stefan Matala, who is coached by Patrick Tour, and it seems like he is bringing... A new, a new and improved, a much, much better version of himself. As you can see, he definitely lost some size. And people are saying, and I agree, that he can definitely do the open at some point in the future. I think he did have to sacrifice some muscle to, to, get in, to make the weight for classic physique. I mean, he did get completely ripped. I don't think he was ever nearly this condition ever before. But I think he probably could have had the same conditioning with like 10 or 15 pounds more if he had no weight limit. But as you can see, he's absolutely shredded. I mean, this guy, his issue, his biggest issue so far was, in fact, conditioning. You can also say his back would be wider and bigger, but mainly it was conditioning. He is good enough, muscularity-wise. And finally, it looks like he is absolutely nailing it. And I don't think he's suffering that much... Knowing Patrick Tour and his approach, he is probably eating a lot of carbs and just getting leaner and harder. And what we're seeing here in this most recent physique update, they're about three weeks out, a little bit less. It's crazy. Actually, it's more like two and a half weeks out. But this is, this is it. I mean, I don't know how much more weight does he need to lose, but as far as conditioning goes, that's, that's it. He's ready. He's shredded. He's super detailed, super hard. The skin looks crazy thin. I'm pretty sure he's gonna win that show and go to the Mr. Olympia. The only question is where he will place at a Mr. Olympia. I mean, he has a big name, so I can definitely see him being in the top because you can notice that like top eight guys at the Mr. Olympia are all big name guys, guys who have social media who are very popular. So if that's a factor, I don't know if that's a coincidence, but if that's a factor, Stefan has it. He's very popular on social media and his physique is special. It's really phenomenal. I would love to see him up there in the top eight compared to the top guys, but let's wait for those two and a half weeks and see him on the stage and let's see if he's actually going to win that show. There are a lot of guys who can actually show up and challenge him big time. Somebody like Jose Manuel who keeps competing. So it's going to be very tough. I think it's going to be a very hard show to win. But I think Stefan has it. What do you guys think? All right. And finally, we got a physique update from Hunter Labrada. And he's doing a show in Italy as well. But not this show. There is another show in Italy, I think, six or eight weeks after this one. And also another show in the UK. And looking at Hunter right here, I think he's going to win both of those two shows. I mean, this guy, like when you talk about Hunter Labrada, we think, can he, you know, be top four in the Mr. Olympia again? Because that's where he placed at one point. We are not really talking about can he win regular pro shows. He is definitely amongst the top guys. He's up there compared to Andrew Jack, uh, Brandon Curry, and the other top guys, he's in the second call out at the Mr. Olympia. And I don't think there are other guys who are on that level doing these shows. So I think he's not going to have a trouble grabbing a win or probably two. 
As you can see right here, he is in a very good shape. He is definitely changing very rapidly every time we see him. As far as improvements, did he make any improvements? He definitely did look bigger than ever in the offseason, so I'm expecting he's gonna be a little bit improved, but I don't really expect to see him crazy improved in terms of muscularity, but hopefully he's gonna look fresh, and uh, like his midsection is gonna be tight, and he's gonna look symmetrical and, and, and aesthetic. You know, that's the main thing with Hunter, that's kinda, you know, getting worse with age, but hopefully with those new gains, more freshness and fullness will come, and he is going to be conditioned, he's not going to have a trouble with that, because that's also a tricky thing for, for Hunter, I mean, he peaked last year very well for Tampa Pro, he was really conditioned, and then Texas and Mr. Olympia, it wasn't that good, so it's usually kind of like a hit or miss situation, hopefully he will hit it this year, multiple times, for the show in Italy, and UK, and then Mr. Olympia, and we will see Hunter at his best. That's what I hope. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay here. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.